Welcome to a United Rome mini let's play in Total War Rome Remastered. But with a twist, here I have a Wheel of Doom, which every three turns I have to spin. This could completely end up annihilating the campaign, or maybe having minimal effect, it really depends. I spin this wheel at the end of every three turns, starting now. What's it going to give us? Please don't be too bad. Disband a full garrison. Okay. Yeah, we don't start with many garrisons, which means we kind of have to start and disband those two, which overall is kind of okay. It's not that bad. Alright, let's get peasants in all of these settlements. Ooh, we can actually get Prinkipes in Rome. Alright, go for that, but peasants everywhere else. Alright, and build basic temples too. Yep, that should be okay. Alright, meanwhile, this guy here, yeah, he can take over that settlement. This guy can go down to Rome. Uh, can I get a town watch in there? Yeah, get one in there. We can't get any Hastati out. Right, you join up with them and take Suggester. And we'll occupy the settlement. Ah, uh, not enough money to build. Alright, cancel the temple in Rome. Yeah, get that instead. That's more important. Alright, and pull the soldiers back out and home. Ha, ah, nice try, Carthage. Nice try, but I got him there first. Uh, Gaul, yeah. Get all the diplomacy set up like that. Basic trade with everybody, that's what we need. The reason why the Roman powers are so wealthy is because they start off with very good trading powers. Uh, we have a lot of settlements and hardly any forces, so yeah, we're making a lot of gold. But our lack of trading partners right now is really hindering us. A candidate for adoption, sure, at this point, we just need as many generals as we can get. He's in Suggester, god. Alright, I also want to build a bit of a, like a strong front line in the north to hold out. The objective is to take Carthage. And, yep, they're attacking at Masana, of course. It's a weak garrison, I expected it. And, oh, they're able to attack instantly with the elephants. Ah, we cannot win this. Yeah, just take the loss. It's unfortunate, but we should be okay overall. But anyway, I'm about to end turn three. So that means time to spin the wheel. What's it going to give us? Please be nothing too bad. At least early on, like later, sure, throw the bad ones at us. But right now, we're only just getting started. Minus 1k gold, that's not too bad. I'll take that one compared to the minus 20k gold that I could get. Bye bye gold. Okay, we're in debt. But it's not too bad, we'll recover. There we go, already up 8k. Wonderful. Alright, then time once more to spin that wheel. I built up some fortifications in the north to make sure we're okay. Uh, continued building our military. Not much we can really do right now though. And come on, let's spin the wheel. Don't be something tragic. Uh, Alright, 5k gold, I'll take it, I'll take it. Ah, uh, disband the garrison. Alright, well, luckily I do get to pick, uh, you know what, Croton, and then just recruit them again. Okay, new rule in future, disband garrison is going to be the garrison that my cursor was closest to, so if my cursor was here when I load back in, it would go to Rome. Oh, forgot to uh, move my capital down to Rome, there we go, much better. Ah, the archery range, finally built. Yeah, get some archers out. A very important unit for us, and then we should be ready to go. But it's wheel time, what's it going to give us? This could destroy us, potentially. Minus 1k gold, ooh, disband three units. Okay, I'm gonna go by the same rule as uh, disbanding a garrison. Oh, oh, all right, it actually moved me when I loaded in, but I remember being nearest to Kapua. All right, so those two have to go, and I guess the next closest settlement is Rome, but luckily, I've got a peasant in here, so get rid of him. And yeah, just then, re-recruit them in Kapua. 
Right, we're good. Let's move on. No, Gaul attacking me. Why? All right, hopefully our fortifications can hold. Actually, I think we should go on the offensive here. Yeah. It's like we've got the armies to do it. So we really might as well. All right, keep recruiting more men just in case we mess up. But I think we should be okay. And are they? Oh, not a ceasefire. Really? You know what? Feel free to attack me. I could not care less. <laughs> I think I'm in the position right now to do the attacking. Ah, Kapua grew. Good. Okay, so take out Patavium first. I don't know where the goals have gone. Like, they've usually got an army up here, but yeah, can't seem to find it, which is good. Tarentum growing too, sure. Yeah, we've got so many buildings in the queue. Uh, we've got so much money to throw around. We're in a good spot. Yeah, and, you know, that's why I have the little wheel. I wanted to show the mod off, uh, have a little play around with it, get a bit of a, a season one roleplay vibe for a bit of nostalgia. But at the same time, I didn't want it to be too easy, simple, and therefore boring. I wanted to add another element to it. Like I did with my roleplay campaign. But yeah, I think the little wheel does make it a bit more exciting. Let me know. Leave a like down below if you're enjoying it. And like the idea. But anyway, we're at turn 12. Which means it's time to spin that wheel once more. Alright then, what is it going to give us? Luckily they've been quite tame so far. And again, another very tame one. Minus 1k gold. Wow, I love it when a person ends up looking like their profile picture. <laughs> Completely useless and he looks it. You know what, let's send him to, uh, yeah, to Croton. Like, as out of the way as possible. I don't want him. Alright, so we've got three generals here. Uh, he would be the commander, but he's a bit old. We've got a spare commander. He can stay in Rome and govern it. And there we go, a stack of 18 troops. Get them into the boat. And I'm a little worried about having all of these units on just two ships, but I think we'll be okay. Get some more in Kapua just to make sure. Alright, and Patavium is ours. Uh, we'll occupy the settlement. I'll be staying here for a while. Yeah, to replenish everybody. Alright, let's drop off our troops outside Masana. Should be an easy take. Put the settlement under siege. Should be an easy take. Ah, it's mostly a cav army in here, led by the 72-year-old Hanno. Alright, we took the settlement, taking losses on the Principes Ah, That's where the main army is, led by Bommelkar. Okay, meanwhile, this army here go to the bridge. And then they can push onto Mediolanium. Yeah, bringing him this way so I can give him some more Hastate. But anyway, it's time to spin that wheel again. And you might be able to notice I've made the punishments a little bit harder. So yeah, it should be a little bit more difficult now. Auto resolve the next battle. I've got to be careful what my battle is then. Oh, Gaul attacking Patavium. That's a little worrying. If that becomes the battle that I ought to resolve, I would lose it. Which means I have to fight a battle now. Ah, oh, but I can't, I can't get round there to him. You know what, I don't need this fort anymore. There we go, take the defeat there. Alright, we survived, okay. Put it under siege. Okay, I got my army round here, but I didn't notice them there. If they've got elephants, ooh, they could take my Sana back, which I really don't want to see. So yeah, hopefully that's not the case. Anyway, let's take Mediolanium. Good. And next turn, we'll go help out at Patavium. Ooh, we got a new merchant. Good. Uh, we've got trade and an alliance with the British, so... Yeah, we'll trade with them. Go up to the Iron Shah. Should get money out of that. Alright, they're putting it under siege. Please don't attack it. They're attacking it. That's the attack animation. Oh, poo. Oh, those stupid elephants. Oh, they only have two there. If we kill the elephants, they lose the battle. Alright, 
this is not too bad then. Okay, Javelin Man there, and I think we're gonna need for Phalanx too. Then again, if we start retreating, we've got to get into the settlement without any of them getting in here, so... I'm a little unsure how to approach it. Wait for the elephants to come forwards, and then we can react. Alright, you know what? I've actually got another idea. Let's get the missile units out, and let them take care of the elephants. They should be able to handle it. Hopefully we can get them into the settlement in time. Right, good. They're not pushing forwards yet. Come on, you got to kill these elephants, though. If we fail at this... Oh, good, good, good. All right, into the settlement. There's nothing else to do. We got the Wayne. Well done, soldiers. Now, wasn't that battle pretty epic? <laughs> All right, so our diplomat can make 20 off the iron. 20 there, but we can make 100 off the... Uh, off the amber, so yeah, go for the amber. And good, they pulled off Potavium, which means now we're in quite a good position up north. Although they have a big army, but we can deal with that. Alright, don't... <sighs> yeah, don't meet them on the field. We'll take Lilibeum and cut them off like that. Hopefully then they would be tempted to attack us. But yep, it's time. Let's spin the wheel again. Alright... The punishments are now much harder, especially the gold ones. Disband five units. Oh, oh. Okay, disband five units. Wait. No, it's where the cursor is for. And yeah, our cursor was closest. Oh, no. We've got perfectly five. Oh, that is sad. Oh, poo. Can we do anything about it? Lift for siege, maybe. No, we're stuck. We can't do anything. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, what if we... No, we're not going to get a unit down there in time. They're going to walk in. Ah, oh, poo. Yeah, they took it. Oh, wait, no. We got the unit recruited first. So now they put it under siege. Oh, good, it played our turn first. I think in Medieval 2, it plays their turn first. Good. Oh, that saved us. All right, so Lilibeum is ours. Uh, exterminate the population. And I want to move out now. Yeah. Uh, they're still going to besiege Masana, though. Unfortunately. Welp, we tried everything we could. Hopefully, they just don't attack. It's a possibility. Oh. Unless they want a ceasefire. Oh, yes, I would gladly take that. That is generous, apparently. Ooh. Alright, don't offer that. Can we get... No. No settlement. You know what? I'll take it. Just to save Masana, I'll take it. And what do the Greeks want? An alliance. You know what? I'll take it. So now we can push on to Carthage without having to worry about Syracuse, but... Uh, do I fight them or do I replenish? I think... Yeah, go replenish. Alright, uh, take out their merchant first. Alright, good. Now we stand on their 155 gold from this guy. Oh, 146. Still a good number. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I think we just have to fight them. Yeah, get them killed now, then we can go back to Rome to replenish. But yeah, let's break the ceasefire and go for it. There we go. Dead. Alright, back on the boat. Sail back up north. Alright, we are under siege here, but I'm waiting for them to attack us. That way we should have an advantage, but it's wheel time. Okay, what's it going to get us? Alright, ooh. Minus 10k gold. We're getting off very lucky here. This is not what I expected. I thought it would be horrible to me, but... You know, it's it's the lightest ones ever. Like, there's a minus 200k gold in here. Destroy five buildings. Teleport the main army back home. Disband all mercenaries, but no. We're not getting them. Add 25k population to the smallest settlement. There's another in here uh, about just wipe out the population of the largest settlement. Yeah, clear population. But you know what? I would gladly lose 10k gold. We've still got 50k in the bank. 
Okay, Gaul is attacking Lugo Torix, finally deciding to become active with the rest of his Gallic armies, bringing in a lot of reinforcements. Ooh, we could struggle here. Yeah, it's all wooden walls. Now, they are trash. Aye, it depends. Let's give it a go. Okay, then, this here is the new plan. The missile units, I'm going to assume, are going to die. Everyone else is on the plaza, as tightly grouped up as possible, covering all possible angles. Alright then, let's see, is it going to actually work? We've got the general in there too, trying to survive. Let's take a look, all in guard mode. Come on Romans, nah, we're not going to be able to hold, I knew we wouldn't. Ah, oh well. Alright, they are starting to break. Alright, hold. Keep it together, soldiers. Keep it together. We could still do this. We have to rely right now on the infinite morale boost. Those Velites getting crazy. <laughs> they're, they're tearing them to pieces. Destroying an army single-handedly. Right, now they're broke. Come on, Hestate. It's on you. If we win this, the Gallic threat is done. They would be no more of a problem. And it's looking good. Oh, they're getting into us now. I Oh, General, no, no, no. Get back in here. No need to, yeah, go too much in there. We broke a General. It's now 50-50. We could actually win this. One arm is fully routed. It's a shame we cannot run these guys down. Yeah, they're all going to get away. How's it looking here with the stats? All right. Percentage-wise, it's about even, which just goes to show how many men they actually had, but a lot of them are routing. Yeah, we're not getting the kills, really, but we are breaking them. They cannot break through this and they're routing because of it. Enemy general dead, that's always a big help. Look at it. It knows it. We've won the battle. Well done, soldiers. Well done. Didn't even lose my general too, right? Run down as many as possible. Hold on a minute, what's going on here? This guy is stuck. <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes, there he goes. Now he's moving. Run him down. A heroic victory. 2,000 dead or captured. Wonderful. And the north is now secure. Well done, soldiers. Beautiful work. Greece, don't you dare. Don't you dare attack me. I, I, I see what you're thinking here. Anyway, let's replenish all of our soldiers. Give them some more armor too. And up here, replenish all of the Hastati. But it's wheel time before we replenish and make the final push for Carthage. Oh, I saw it on minus 200k gold. An end turn. Alright then. Okay, this one here basically means that we end turn as normal. Oh, but the Greeks went to war with us. That's annoying. Nothing we can do there. And then we end turn again. We cannot do anything, we cannot move, we can't do a thing. Alright, now we're back. Okay, good. The army is fully replenished. Get them on the boat. Get them back there. They're going to be the reinforcements. Yeah, this army here is in case something bad happens to this army. And let's just sail across. We have the numbers. Alright, do they want to fight this? Yes, they do. Okay, four rams. Mostly a phalanx army. I don't think we can win this one, but we don't even have any infantry, I don't think. Wow, one unit of principes. Alright, plaza hold it is. Yeah, we need to fight them in a way that means they cannot use their phalanxes. And that might be it there. Alright, start the battle, let them in. Okay, I'm gonna click a button I've never clicked on before. Velites, guard mode. You're gonna be the frontline infantry in all of this. <laughs> oh. Alright, good, the tower got one kill. That's going to make it easier. Oh, and then it got a few more. Oh! Clear victory now. They're all walking into it. I like this tower. That got a lot of kills for us. Uh, but it won't be enough, sadly, to turn it. That we must do ourselves. Alright. Here it goes. 
javelins should come in. Oh, don't waste javelins on the on the Peltus units, though. Bit of an unfortunate waste there. Oh, well. Alright, we've got our cavalry here ready to charge in their back when needed. If we get the timing right, it might help us a little bit. Oh, we're needed over here already. They're attacking both units at once. Alright, going for melee. And it's over. We lost it. Yeah, they're watching the back too. There's nothing we can do there. The front line breaks, the cav is gone, and that's a defeat. Ah, oh well. Come on, kill him, somebody. <laughs> what was all that about? He's still alive. There we go. <laughs> Alright, the fleet is almost there. The goal is in sight. Ah, Rome expanded. Good, go for that then. Okay, the Greeks are trying to stop me. Uh, but it's not going to work. Let's move around them and attack. I meant to click on the army, but too late. We'll fight it as a siege. That's okay with me. There we go. We should hopefully be able to take that. Send the fleet back home to pick up the troops in Rome. Yeah, we've got a lot of men here that need to get brought to the front. But it is wheel time. Possibly one of the last spins we'll get. Alright, we've had it easy so far. And move the capital south. Sure, whatever. Alright then, Kapua, you are the new capital. And it has to stay there until the end of the game, unless we have to move it again. Ah, Macedon wants San Alliance. Now, from my experience of Rome, this means they're planning to go to war with me. So, nah. Oh, Gaul attacking again, didn't you learn from the last time? And then there, of course, of course. Greece, what are you doing? That's not what blockading means. That's just annoying. Go away. <laughs> wow, this guy here, 10 management. Oh, he is staying in Rome. Oh, but he's also the best commander we have. M maybe not then, maybe not. Alright, put the second army on the fleet and sail them down south. Alright, but it is time to roll the wheel. Do I attack first? You know what, sure. Let's just take Carthage now and exterminate the population, of course. Alright, now they can hold in there for a bit because I want to do something else. I feel we need to conquer Sicily. Mostly get our revenge. So yeah, that's going to be the side quest. Okay, wheel time, what's it going to give us? Come on. Disband all mercenaries. Have I even recruited any? Alright, I'm having a look around now and... No, I haven't. You know what? I'll spin it again then. You know, it's only fair, in my opinion. Come on, alright, 200 ki- Oh, auto-resolve next battle. <laughs> you know what, I'll take it, sure. It could be a bit annoying. Oh, and the Greeks are attacking, there's nothing I can do. Got to auto-resolve anyway. Gaul, that's not how a blockade works. <laughs> Faction destroyed, Seleucid Empire. Wow, really? I've not seen that yet in the remaster. So far, they've done kind of well. Oh, so many enemy fleets. <laughs> if they actually join up, they could sink my main army. That's a bit worrying. Wait, the AI working together to bring a big foe down? No, that's not worrying at all. That'll never happen. Oh, rest in peace, Flavius Julius. Yeah, he was in Carthage. Ah, well. Alright, put Masana under siege with the greatest army there is. All right, but once more we find ourselves here. Disband three units, and it's where the cursor was. I can't remember where I left it. And all right, it did move me when I loaded back in, but it's here. Sorry, Hastati, but you've got to go. Oh, I can't, I've got to lift the siege first. All right, there we go, get rid of them. Any mercenaries, I'll take them. 
There we go. Faction destroyed Macedon. Everyone's dropping right now. Are they using the Wheel of Doom too? Stop blockading me like this. Hold on a minute. Has the AI actually worked together? Yeah, they did. <laughs> My prophecy came true. Tiny garrison here, but they do have reinforcements. Should be an easy win. There we go. Alright, occupy the settlement at... As it is technically Roman, so we're okay to do that. Alright, and then march on to Syracuse. Yes. Alright, get the Carthage army onto the ships here. And oh, no, I was going to drop them off here, but they just happened to have a boat right there. Oh, poo, there's, we can't leave. Oh, that's annoying. Hopefully we can survive. Oh, I should not have done that. We can't even get our reinforcements down here. Ah, oh, they're attacking. We lost. We're pulling. Did we pull back to safety? I think we did. I think, all right, we're safe. Phew, they did not sink us right. You know what? Drop the army off here. Bring that ship there. <laughs> not how I imagined that going. <laughs> but we're okay. And we were able to take Syracuse too. Right, well... I'm gonna occupy this settlement here. Because I know it's got a high population. They could be close to... Marian reform upgrades. Uh, 15,000 people? Nah. Rome is closer. So yeah, probably should have just stayed there. Right, keep building up Rome. Hopefully we can get there soon. Okay, by some miracle, our fleet did get attacked, but we survived. Right, you know what, move this one forwards first, they're there, which means we're fine to do that, and attack Lilibayum, there we go, we finally got there. Alright, but it is wheel spinning time, and this surely will be the last spin that I do. What's it going to give us? What are we going to end on? Minus 50k gold? There we go, okay. But the thing is, at this point, like, that means nothing. We're still up 90k, and we win next turn. And here we go, just walk into the settlement now. Easy win for us there, and mission complete. So there we go, uh, the Greeks looking good. I like their campaign so far. Egypt finally pushing back onto the Seleucid Empire. So far, we've only seen the Seleucid Empire win over here, so... Yeah, this is good to see. Uh, Pontus looking okay too, Armenia getting a very interesting border, but... Yeah, that's mostly it. Thrace doing good. Yeah, they're on a good run. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little idea. What I want to do with the remaster is like... Not mod spotlight videos, but, you know, sort of at the same time. A video where I can cover a new mod, like I was doing with the original. But at the same time, add something else to it. So yeah, a let's play, but with a Wheel of Doom. Or yes, the Greek Colonies mod, but as an AI-only campaign. Stuff like that. A mod spotlight video, but it's actually entertaining with a winner at the end and a little twist. Let me know what you think about this little let's play Wheel of Doom idea that I had. But yeah, sadly we didn't get the worst punishments. Maybe I have to be a little bit harsher with them. Yeah. Leave a like if you enjoyed, let me know down below in the comments. Any other mods you want to see with this little wheel, or any other ideas of ways for me to suffer. All will be very appreciated. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more, and as always, share with anyone else you think might be interested. But for now, until the next one, tomorrow's video, Melgon. Thank you.